Hello and good Monday, May 17, 2010. I'm Molly and today is World Information Society Day. Proclaimed by the United Nations to raise awareness of the cultural, societal, political and economic issues caused by... the internet. Ah yes, but this was not the internet I meant to show. The issue today concerns the many people uneasy with how the largest information society is being managed. Specifically speaking, Facebook has been dealing with a whirlwind of privacy issues recently. The site originally took off as a safe place to share with your friends, though recently Facebook has been pressing its 400 million users to open up. Now due to recent mishaps with privacy settings and data leaks, the company is at a serious fork in the road. Seriously. New user signups have reportedly fallen from 25 million per month to 13 million. Tons of thousands of Facebook users are petitioning Facebook to protect and respect their privacy, and even the US government is involved now. Several senators called the company out just two weeks ago for causing confusion, and urged the Federal Trade Commission to do more to issue and enforce privacy guidelines across the web. This led to a baker's dozen full of privacy and rights organizations filing complaints with the FTC too, claiming Facebook is using deceptive and unfair business practices. News organizations, bloggers, Facebook groups, and of course tweeters are all piling on. Engadget founder Peter Rojas, Boing Boing's founder Cory Doctorow, tech pundit Leo Laporte, Google engineer Matt Cutts, and so many others have publicly announced their complete departure from the social network. Wired claims Facebook has gone rogue, and it's time for an open alternative. Dana Boyd is suggesting that Facebook is now a utility, and that utilities are regulated. Is this really what Facebook wants? To be regulated? Icing on the birthday cake? Damning remarks made seven years ago by Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg have come back to haunt him. This newly published private exchange shows what appears to be a significant amount of disdain for the users of his own platform. As you can imagine, Zuckerberg probably didn't expect his privacy to be compromised. And talk about being at the right place at the right time. Four students from NYU's Curran Institute submitted an idea to Kickstarter.com, seeking a funding goal of $10,000 to build an open source social network startup with personal control over the privacy and sharing of one's own data. Called Diaspora, the project received over $100,000 in I Hate Facebook money in a matter of days and is poised to launch at the end of this summer. Diaspora is going to be an open source, distributed, do it all privacy-aware social network. The idea is not a new one. Ah! Didn't mean that old, meant older. People who published to the web, whether they published photos or conversations, often did so through their own destination sites, which supports the idea of a decentralized and open web. In this case, everyone has control over their own setup. Some people have blogs, some have static HTML pages, some have full-blown experiences. Some might use Flickr for their photos, some might use web shots. And of course, many people enjoy using all kinds of tools available around the web to share and collaborate with closed private groups. Today, many experts are suggesting that Facebook needs to pick a route and stick with it. Venture capitalist Fred Wilson suggests Facebook is going to have to choose to be either totally public or totally private, or they are going to gradually see their social graph to services that stake out the totally public or totally private territory. Scobalizer says, split Facebook into two pieces, one private, one public. A wise driver once told me that whenever he came to a fork in the road, he stepped on the gas. Google Trends told me a sharp spike for the search term, how do I delete my Facebook account is on. Will Diaspora enable you all to free yourselves from Facebook? Will Mark Zuckerberg speak up? Will OpenID rise from the dead? Will Facebook listen to its users? Will the United States of America take over? We'll be watching and we'll be reporting right here on Rocket Boom. Competent daily news from the internet.